Yeah, so this was on the phase two evobrutinib uh, study. Approximately 170 patients provided samples uh, for serum neurofilament light chain measurements. Uh, this was a study uh, versus placebo or low dose evobrutinib and high dose evobrutinib. We had seen earlier that high dose evobrutinib uh, showed a significant reduction of serum neurofilament light levels. I think as early as uh, six weeks after starting uh, the treatment. This work here was now looking at the prognostic value of baseline serum NFA levels on uh, new T2 lesions, gadolinium lesions and relapses. And we saw a clear signal that uh, patients with higher NFL at baseline also showed more gadolinium activity, more new T2 lesion activity and more relapses over the six months uh, study later on. And we also saw that high-dose evobrutinib uh, significantly reduced uh, these endpoints in, independent of having high or low NFL levels at baseline.